James has a question. And I, it James disappeared from the o- note. Only had, well, I don't think it disappeared from the note. I think it was never put into the note to begin with, Pilot well. Pete. But uh, <laughs> I remember James's question, and uh, it was addressed to you, Pete. The, the question is Can you explain to me how pass keys work, and are they going to make us more secure with? things you know now i see websites that have pass keys and passwords D- does the fact that i'm using a pass key make me more secure what's the deal pete you're our only hope help yeah there right. you go <laughs> well if i'm your only hope uh you probably should just hit stop now and get out of your car folks and walk away <laughs> walk away just now while you run, can run quickly <sighs> that's right yeah don't don't walk run Okay, driven so the, from the, insanity in real time. That's right. The second part of the question is was about passwords, and if we're still using passwords, are we more vulnerable? And the simple answer is yes. As long as you're using a password, even if it's in parallel with a pass key, if the website is allowing that, that then if you're just using a password, yes. If your password gets lifted by somebody else, and they can get in, so yes, you're more vulnerable. So. Obviously, the hope is to eventually get to all pass keys because that technology is pretty cool. It's just asymmetric crypto key. Yeah, or 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 one of those that Adam's holding up as a little a little like a YubiKey type device. YubiKeys, yeah. Plug in, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's an asymmetric uh, crypto key. So when you set one up with, for instance, BestBuy.com, you're essentially creating an asymmetric key. Best Buy stores your public key on their server. And when you go to log in, it queries your keychain and your private key answers and says, yeah, here I am. And you never, you're not transmitting out a password, as it were. You're just unlocking that key. And it says, oh, okay, yeah, you're you. And you log in and you activate that pass key, your private key by usually a fingerprint or a face ID or something along those lines. So even if, and I put in there, because he asked if someone tried to do like phishing or something like that, that's fine. As long as they've got your public key, your private key is going to answer, but they're not getting a password from you. So they can't grab your private key and then go log in at another site with you. So, or with your private key, cause they don't have your private key. So that's what makes it more secure. And it's, it's pretty, pretty cool technology. And it's been around for just a couple decades or so, but no, just I mean the 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 big part of this is, you know, the private key is unlocked by something you have, something physical, be it your fingerprint or your face ID in a lot of cases. I don't know if this is all 100% the case, but like these little UB keys, right? It it has to be plugged in. This one's Lightning and USB-C on one side. This one's a USB just a USB-A one. So those are from my work. I have to use them to log into things. Although it's become more convenient now that pass keys are better supported. I can actually use Touch ID on my keyboard, and I actually had my IT department order me a new keyboard with the Touch ID on it because I use my laptop and clamshell, or um, you know, even other services. Now I can I can tie into that. I, what was I doing? Just oh, the Synology. I just set up my Synology with with pass key rather than other authentication. So not only is it more secure, but it's also just more convenient, in my opinion especially with our Macs yeah. and iOS devices, which have biometric things that support pass keys built in now. So like touch ID, face ID works great. The frustrating part is like websites that make me log in with a password and then use my pass key. And it's like, okay, like I, I love the security. That's great. But this first step is just unnecessary. <laughs> like yeah. we don't, we don't need it, but it using the pass key as the second factor, uh, right? Is is better than using, you know, SMS as the second factor, for example, right? It, right. It, it because because of the inherent security, and and when people say when Pete says asymmetric key, it just means it's a two part key, and you you can hand out the public key all day long, and then without your private key, uh, you you can't, no one can authenticate. So yeah. 